Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js. Today we are going to learn about how to import CSV data into PostgreSQL using the Node.js. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So first of all, we have to create our db.js file for the configuration. So this is my configuration file. So we have required username, database, password, port, and the host, right? And which package we require that is PG. So npm install PG, okay, Postgres, right? Then we have to create a folder for the CSV upload that is uploads, right? So you have to create this uploads, okay? Then we have a app.js file that is a main file where we have the logic to import CSV data into the Postgres SQL, okay? So let's see. So first of all, the packages we require that is Express, Malta, FS, CSV Parser, and here we require the DB, okay, for the database connections, right? So here we have a app, Express, Uploads, we are using the Uploads where we upload the CSV into the Upload section using the Malta, okay? So here we have the API that is slash upload, single CSV, this is a file name, async operation is there. So first we require the file path. Okay, then we do the connection, await pool dot connect. Okay, so this is a single page that I have made. Otherwise, you have to uh, create a uh, like connection is in the different file, the main file, and the rest of the code should be in the different file. Okay, so here the connection starts. So first it connects. Okay, then we have a result array that should be empty first. So first we read the CSV and push all the row into the result section. Okay, so whatever data in the CSV, it should go in the results. Okay, on end, what we are doing, first we have a query that insert into the user. Okay, so this is the query that we have to insert into the user table with the name, age, and the email with the values. Okay, and await in the promise all, what we are doing, we are just mapping the data and just client.query.query .query values, we are just inserting. We are using this query to insert the data into the database of the PostgreSQL. Okay, so we are mapping here the row and here we have the name, email and the age. Okay, so whatever data we have, we have to send them or insert into the user table. Okay, so here I think the multiple times the data Okay, so just let me uh, delete this. I think it should be in one time. I think no, it should be a one time, right? Multiple times I have added. Then client dot release. Okay. And the response that CSV data uploaded successfully. Else it will show that the error uploading the CSV and the error and the status would be error uploading the CSV data. Okay. After this, we have on which server, on which port it should be listened. That is 3000. Okay, let's start the server and let's start the Postgres SQL also. So where we have a PG admin. Okay. Let's start the postman also on the same time. So here we have the REST API database, which we have the users and the uh, all rows so currently there is no row right okay so name email and age there is nothing okay if I go over here and let's select the here CSV okay here we have to select the file body this is data.csv where we have the name email and the age let's try to send this okay send what happened? Okay, I haven't started the application. Okay. Now send. CSV data uploaded successfully. Okay. Let's see the data is there in the PG PostgreSQL or not. So view edit and row. And you can see whatever data in the CSV is inserted over here. I will show you the CSV file also that is in my documents data.csv so here we go with this one so here you can see john jane smith and this is elio johnson okay so these are the data that is added over here alice johnson right 
So you can see that we have successfully imported the CSV and saved the data in the DB of the PostgreSQL. Any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.